All right, guys. So welcome back to the part four of our smoke simulation course. So in the last part, we saw how we can add some small scale velocities to our smoke sim, and in this part, we are going to add some large uh, details. Okay. So right now, you can see our smoke simulation is looking uh, cool and overall, but the problem is after some times, this will just start getting you know a lot repetitive. So I need to add some small explosions after some random frames to like break this repetitive pattern. Okay. So what i need to do is i can just go back over here okay and this time i need to add some you know some large velocities over here okay so i'll have to create some large velocities to break this look okay so i can just copy this point velocity okay i can just copy it over here okay and click on this so here you can see we have added some uh, small scale velocities so if we just look at it so how were they looking so they were something like this okay okay and here i want uh, to have you know a quite large scale okay so uh, right now this is set to like the soul size was set to 1 maybe i can change it to maybe 2.5 or something okay so we will have something like this okay so this will create like bigger uh, tear ups in our uh, breakups in our smoke okay and i'll just decrease my pulse duration to maybe something like 0 0.3 or something okay uh, so that this thing it changes quite frequently okay all right so i can just go back to my cam view okay and turn off this velocity and again i'll just add a volume rasterize attributes okay in order to like rasterize my velocities okay and again i'll copy this and instead of well i'll call it big well okay that is it now let me just copy it back Control c go back over here and again uh, we have this well already so i'll just call this small well because it was creating small velocities and now i'll just copy this again and connect it over here and i'll call this big well so that is how i like to work i like to keep all my volume sources uh different for all the different stuff okay i'll just go back to my cam view and in my saw path i'll change it to the big well thing okay and obviously now i'll need to change some stuff over here so as of now let's see what this is doing and maybe i'll increase the source scale and right now i'll just turn off my small scale small scale velocity okay so right away you can see this has like started tearing up my smoke okay and that is something what i want but i don't want it to be there like continuously you know i want it to be there after some frames okay i want it to be like there after like every 30 frames so that it creates a kind of a blast after every 30 frame and so on okay so how can i do that all right so that's very easy so in this activation uh, you can either animate it manually if you want but uh, there's a very cool expression for that so i can write something like you know uh, modulus sorry dollar f and modulus 30 equal to equal to zero so what it's trying to saying uh, trying to say is uh, so dollar f that means the frame number div when divided by 30 leaves remainder zero so whenever this statement is true uh, our big well is going to be turned on i mean it's going to be activated on that frame okay so if i go to frame 30 you will see it's on then again i'll go if i go to frame 60 so it will be on okay so what's happening is like it's saying all the frames which are completely divisible by 30 and when they so they'll only be completely divisible by 30 when you know when the remainder is going to be zero okay and whenever happens that just make this statement true and just output a value of one okay so if i just do a sim and obviously i'll turn on my small scale well now okay so as of now i'll just turn it off once again so let's just see what how it looks like so you will see uh it will just have normal thing and after as soon as it goes to frame 30 you will see something big has happened over here see how it changed a silhouette of our smoke how it you know added some details some extra details over here okay see there's a kind of big plume over here okay and then when we go to the frame 60 again same thing is going to repeat so when we go to the frame 60 so once again some big plume is created but then we are again going to face a problem and the problem is because this smoke has already gone up it has created lot of upward moving pressure 
so this velocity which we have over here over the time it will start getting you know really low okay over the time it will start getting really slow and now we need to animate it so what i try to do is usually i just try to animate it throughout my timeline so here i can just put it to one the source scale i can put it to one okay and add a keyframe go to the end and maybe i'll just put it to 100 and just add one more keyframe over here instead on the first frame instead of one i can put it to something like five so it goes from five to hundred throughout our uh, key uh, throughout our like timeline okay and what this will give us is like see initially it will have a big burst of energy okay the value is set to 10 at that point okay so we will have a big blast over there and next time when the same thing is going to happen because the pressure is will be increased so the velocity that's going to be created will be of magnitude some uh, something around like 20 or something okay so let's say when we go over frame 60 you'll see the source scale is set to 20 now and now this time we will have a you know uh, a stronger burst than before okay and this way we will get some you know cool looking uh breakups to our like big scale breakups to our smoke okay so let's just go back to our camera view okay and now i can just turn on my small well also okay and now let's just do a quick sim okay and see how it's looking all right guys so we have got something like this and this is exactly what i wanted so you can see we are getting these uh big uh, scale noises on our like simulation and i think it's like looking really good so you can see now our smoke is like not looking you know uh, very static throughout the simulation we are having these small scale noise and then we are getting these large scale noise on top of that and this is just making everything work out really nicely all right so the last thing that i'm going to do is like to add more details is like uh, you know adding a vortex confinement so what is vortex confinement so basically what happens in a smoke simulation software is like you know uh, you can see there are like these curls and swirls which are getting formed throughout the simulation so you can see uh, we have this line and this is where our you know smoke starts forming more and more plumes so you can see there's a kind of line which is coming uh, over here so that is happening due to pressure difference and all that stuff which happens in the atmosphere but the problem is it will get faded away with time okay it so what does vortex confinement does is like it will try to you know add more and more details over here so it will try to enhance this vorticity so we call this we call this a curl field this is a kind of a field a vector field and what vorticity does is it will try to you know multiply it okay so you see we have uh, this line over here so basically the smoke was trying to break from here and when we add vortex confinement and we when when we try to boost it it will basically you know add more and more details to it and that will you know just enhance the details in our simulation okay so i'll just click on this uh, cross button so now our preview is like deattached and i'll just go over here uh, into this there's a like tab for forces and i will add a gas vortex confinement so you can see we get a gas vortex confinement over here just connect it like this and so there are different ways to remap this field but what i found from my experience is like remapping this field doesn't really give uh, better results because it shouldn't be uh, controlled by a uh, by any field it should just be controlled naturally and what does that mean we will go over that part in the next video so in this confinement scale i can just you know put it to like 20 or something so this completely depends upon this uh, speed of your smoke sim so let's say if your speed is like quite high then you need to have this into a greater value okay and if the smoke speed is low then you know you'll have to go for the lower values so in my scene 20 was like 20 or 10 might work fine so i'm just starting with 20 so whenever if you see a boiling effect kind of thing in your smoke simulation that means this uh, value is just too high so i can just decrease my resolution now so the lesser resolution you have i mean the higher resolution you have the more details you will get and vortex confinement will just have will, will just help to you know retain that uh, that detail over the time okay so let me just do one more quick sim and see uh, what we are getting all right guys so the same has been done and you can see what we are getting now and this is like 
way too huge of an uh, improvement because like if you see what we were getting without voting voting confinement and what we are getting with uh, voting confinement it's like a you know ground and sky difference so if you see you can see there are so much of details which is being preserved and this is just looking like a small scale wispy kind of smoke and this is actually looking like it's coming out from a volcano or something like that and this is like i don't know like there are a lot of people who don't really use voting environment and i don't know like how they achieve good looking results because for me like this is like one of the key thing which will make your smoke simulation look uh, like very large scale so just make sure to use this uh, vortex confinement whenever you do we are doing any kind of large scale simulation if you are doing a small scale simulation where like you want this wispy kind of looking smoke or maybe underwater ink or something this is fine but here this is the this is the way okay all right so this has been done and this is it for this part and in the next part we are going to look at a new force and that is known as gas disturbance basically what gas disturbance try to do is like it will try to retain the shape of your uh, like uh, explosion or smoke and on top of that it will just try to add some smaller details but it will never change the look of your smoke it will never change the silhouette of your smoke so that is why the way we like to uh, make thing is like first we go over the big silhouette thing then we start going over like you know the smaller detail stuff so gas disturbance is like the last of that we need to do and what that will help us in achieving is like right now you can see this plume is looking very rounded you know so it's looking so smooth right now so when we add gas disturbance it will try to add lot of breakups to these blooms and it also it's not going to affect our simulation so that is it now let's just meet in the next part bye bye take care